Hello all, uh, I am Muhammad and today I want to talk about uh, Bower. Bower basically is uh, a package manager. Uh, it's used to manage the dependencies in in any project. When when I say dependencies, I mean uh, framework like uh, Angular or Bootstrap or libraries like jQuery. So any dependency you want to use in the website, you can manage it using Bower. So we today we will see how uh, can we install power in our machine how can we use it and uh, how can we use grant power to utilize the dependencies we installed so first uh, we have to install uh, power globally in the machine using this command uh, before you go and install it you have to make sure you have node because it's built on node uh, also you ha also make sure you have git because it uses git as uh, as a way to get the packages required so we take this command and enter okay because i i have to do it uh, using administrator root anyway i have already power uh, installed on the machine so let's start with the project I ha here I have empty project uh, what what I need to do is I need to create power uh, file so I say power in it yes yes I'll give yes for everything here uh, Oh yes, 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 yes. So here, power in it uh, created a, a JSON file like this. It's empty so far. It doesn't have important information so far. But once uh, once we go and uh, install the dependencies we need for the project, you will see here all the dependencies we need so let's start with uh, jquery power install jquery save make sure you hit save here you type save to save the dependency in the project First here in the power.json you will see the dependencies only has jQuery and the version of the, of the jQuery you installed and also you can define the version of the, of the jQuery or any f dependency or any framework you install let's go to the power components here you will see jQuery installed the, the source and the distribution one okay Let's go and install um, Angular or Bootstrap. So and let's check first here. You see Bootstrap installed and is added under the Power Components uh, directory. Uh, let's install uh, angular <laughs> okay now let's get the list of uh, of the frameworks or dependency installed let's hit power okay you can grab all of them like this and or let's take bootstrap css and add it in the project head
and so on for the for the script let's get uh, boot bootstrap js and of course angular js and so on so as you see here we uh, we have all the dependencies in power components so for example if you want to deploy this project to github for anyone to install you don't need to upload the dependencies or the frameworks all you need to do to upload is the uh, is the uh, code for your project for the for the application and power the json and when whenever anyone uh, installs uh, code in his own machine all he needs to do is power uh, install and using this command uh, it will go to power the json and it will install all the dependencies here so no need to up upload all the frameworks and libraries you need for the application to github okay so first part uh, we saw how we get power how we install dependencies and save them in the project now uh, let's go and talk about grant power and and see how can we use grant power grant power mainly does one task which is moving the dependencies from this directory to any directory you have for example if we have a directory called uh, vendor let's say in the vendor we have uh, a directory for uh, uh, third-party javascript uh, frameworks like angular and jquery and another js and another directory for uh, third-party styles frameworks like uh, frameworks like bootstrap like this so i want the dependencies or the frameworks to be in under this vendor so this is the mission of uh, grant power here it says uh, to install grant power you have to npm install grant power in the project so let's go here let's go ahead and install this dependency in the project npm install grant power i think it is oh, we have to i have to go sudo let's see if it's installed or not okay Oh, I think I think the problem is I don't have grant file. Okay, let's grant in it. I am already in the in the website uh, folder so let's go ahead and initialize the grant file yes 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 okay uh, let's uh, install grant let's 
then create grant file very good so let's get back to here we have uh, we have grant file here so let's go and start Sports Grant Okay, very good. So here we uh, installed the grant on the installed the the modules we need installed the grant and we created grant file. So now we can install uh, grant power as a dependency and it will be added to package to json so let's take this should be added here yeah here we are grant power okay should also be injected here okay so we are ready to go uh, let's see here what what does uh, the document say uh, here it says load uh, the grant power so once we start grant in the project uh, the grant power dependency uh, initiated let's go here and attach grant dot init config so once uh, we run grant this is a function it will be called Grant will uh, execute this file until it finds uh, init config. Here we here we can type the the code related to power. So how can we use power? Grand power. Uh, if we follow the documents here, we see that it says we can identif identify general distance, uh, sorry, general destination, or GS destination, or CSS destination, or even font destination. So, what I need to do here is uh, uh, moving all the, the JS components, JS dependencies to vendor js so what we are gonna do is uh, we'll write power task and i will let's type this destination yes destination uh, 
even for the fonts here we can identify destination like this then I uh, I'd like to make uh, the hierarchy hierarchy flatten hierarchy so I'll say uh, in the options uh, keep expanded hierarchy false okay keep expanded hierarchy to false let's see here if I misspelled it yeah keep expanded hierarchy false so all, all the files will be flattened uh, keep expanded hierarchy default to true for all dependencies so you have to explicit set to false if you want a flattened output structure yep okay uh, let's now to let's register a task grant dot register task will make the default task and will give the array uh, will give in the array power power task so once we run grant the default task it will run power task here so what I expect uh, from this code is I'll see all the all the fonts to be installed to be moved in or copied to a directory to called fonts here and the CSS files to be copied to styles file here and the JavaScript files to be copied to JS folder here let's go ahead and uh, run grant perfect we see no errors here let's go back and see let's see what kind of mistake I did here so and for sure there is a mistake in the code so let me delete this I forgot to add the div okay sorry for this so let's run grant again let's go to vendor as you see here extra one uh, it got the list because we didn't identify any distinction for the list here and uh, in the fonts all the fonts moved to the fonts folder all the scripts moved to JS all the styles frameworks or styles libraries moved to styles here so as you see here we we can manage the way we structure the dependencies from power in the website so that's all for uh, Bower and Grant Bower. You can find Grant Bower in in the in Grant website itself. Grant and plugins. You can hit Bower.
here uh, you can see power install is to inject the power dependencies right into the HTML from grant uh, here is uh, where is uh, yeah the grant power we just uh, discussed so you can see a lot of uh, dependencies that work fine with uh, grant thanks for watching and see you soon